with Nikki Speaks, and we're going to jump right into this very first topic. So, as many of you guys know, Chris Sales and Leslie Inez recently took a trip to Puerto Rico in which they supposedly declared their love for each other. Chris took to his Twitter and talked about falling in love all over again. His supporters, his fans were so excited about this turn of events that they were actually coming out and professing their love for one another. Well, listen, a lot of other people had a lot to say. They were noticing some of the similarities in the images that they took. They were noticing some of the similarities in just some of the things that they were doing. And the sim similarities were to, of course, Queen and Clarence. So uh, let me just start off by saying this. The similarities are obvious. <laughs> I do think that they are using Queen and Clarence as a blueprint. I absolutely do. But you guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section on this. And we're going to keep, keep things moving. So, he sat down. He did a Q&A. He got a lot of questions from his supporters slash fans. One of the questions that was asked was, will he link with the old crew or would he be willing to link with the old crew and as many of you guys may know chris has always been very vocal in the past about wanting to link with them he even did a video in which did a plea to not just the old crew but also clarence and queen because he want wanted to link up with them i've always said that that link was just because he was in a bad place financially and he saw that everybody was pretty much eating. Everybody was pretty much doing good. Everybody had pretty much moved on and they were elevating. And so he wanted a piece of that pie. That was my take on him wanting to link with them. Well, his response to the question this time was totally different from anything that he said in the past. And you guys go ahead and take a listen. Would you collide with the old gang again? Um, would I honestly collide? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. I feel like I feel like everybody grew, grew up, you know. I just wouldn't collide with the old gang. Love them, but you know, it's it's, it's cool, you know. I, I really wouldn't collide with them, all for the simple fact that I mean, everybody just grew, you know. Everybody grown. Everybody grew up. And should it be the same how it used to be? So I'm going to be honest. I think that his response was absolutely spot on. His response was absolutely perfect. Everybody has grown and they've grown in their own ways, gone in their different directions. The people that are still kind of close knit or tight, those individuals have kind of kept in touch over the years and they've stayed in contact over the years, not just through text or phone, but they see each other. So I think that for the most part, He's absolutely right. I think that it wouldn't be the same for him. He's still trying to relive those old, he was still trying to relive those old moments and those old days when it wouldn't be the same. Those individuals are in totally different places. All of the people that were with him before, and I think I said this in another video, they're in different parts and different spaces in our lives right now. And so it wouldn't be the same. They would have to come in, link, and then connect as they are right now and i don't think that that would happen with chris and the old crew i think that they've already moved on with the people that they you know they've kind of grown with so yeah i totally agree with him on that you know hopefully you know he meant it hopefully you know he was sincere hopefully he's in the process of you know trying to build and move into a better direction from him for himself and he's not still harping on the past because i think that that's part of why he has not been able to move on because he was still trying to re relive something that was just gone so i totally agree with his um i totally agree with his response to that question you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section one other thing i want to tap into before we move on to the next topic is another question that was asked was pretty much in regards to him and leslie's relationship. obviously everybody wants to know this is me and leslie in a relation Ship. The answer is no. We are not in a relationship. Only I'm, I'm gonna tell you the reason why we're not in a relationship. Not anything bad, but we both still got a lot of self work. They wanted to know if they were together, and he did confirm again that they are not together. Supposedly they're taking their time because they, you know, 
I had so much, you know, going on. In essence, that's really good that they are taking their time. I just think that it's not necessarily a taking a time thing. They're just not into each other like that. <laughs> that's what I think. I think that this is a sexual business relationship and that's it. That's where it's going to end. Their fans, their supporters, their enablers, they want them to be in a full-blown relationship so that they can then compare them to other couples or another couple. And they're just not ready for that because that's not who they are. They're not into each other on that level. That's my opinion. But here's the thing with that. So you guys have noticed that recently Chris and Leslie are no longer following each other on Instagram. Now it looks like Chris is not following a lot of people. He has close to a million a million followers, about eight hundred and ninety some thousand, and he's following maybe twenty or thirty people. A lot of them are Instagram models, but he is currently not following Leslie, and Leslie is currently not following him. Now, something that you guys also um, peeped was that Jeremiah is still liking Leslie's photos. So they're still cool. They're still quote unquote friends to quote her because she said that that's a friend. So we're going to keep that title attached to him until we see differently. But he is still liking her photos as recent as this month. But to recap, Leslie and Chris are not following each other. Chris has reiterated that they are not in a relationship. So here's the thing, guys. I've said this before, and you guys are probably tired of me saying it, but I'm going to continue to say it. These two do not like each other on that level. It does not go past them screwing and making money together. That is it. That's all it is. That's all I see. And we'll kind of see how this plays out. It seems and it appears that something has taken place because, listen, you don't even see Chris liking Leslie's photos and vice versa. I think the last time that that took place was earlier this month. So I'm not sure if something went down with them, if something happened where they unfollowed each other. But we're going to keep our eye out on this. And you guys are, let me know what you think down in the comment section. You know, give me your opinion. Do you think that it's just a coincidence? Do you think that, you know, maybe everything is all good and it's just kind of a reach? Or do you think something popped off and something has happened to cause them not to be on good terms right now? You guys let me know and we're going to move on to the next topic. Right, let's move right into something a little bit lighter. As many of you guys know, anybody who watches my videos, you guys know how I feel about DDG and Holly. I love them together. I think that they are cute. I think that their relationship is just the best to me. I like the fact that they're keeping it private. They're not just out in the open with everything. Although we know y'all are together. Listen. We know and we see and we peep, okay? So, listen, I, I'm here for them. Everybody who has watched my videos in the past also know that I am here for them to do a song together. Not a lot of people have been on board with that idea. You know, I've gotten some mixed responses about that. But listen, I've always said that DDG is a creator. He's very creative. And so I think that he will produce something really special for the both of them. And I just think that, you know, something together will be hot. Now, Holly has said that she's in the studio. She's kind of working on different things. Um, she is focusing on her acting right now, but she is working on different things in the studio. She's even posted several um, pictures to her story of her being in the studio. Well, recently, DDG did a Ask DDG on Twitter, and one of the questions that his fans asked was, would you do a song with the singer, Holly ba uh, Bailey? And listen, DDG said, yes, if I'm lucky. She's a legend already in my eyes. And I, for one, am excited because I think that they're already working and cooking something up. I do. You can't be a creator and not be with the person that you're kind of in a relationship with. You're feeling, you you know, hopefully love and, you know, not want to share that special part. You know, your gift, your art or your craft with that person. So I think 
and this is just me thinking I think that they are in the studio I think they have at least been in the studio and I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed you know I'm going to stand on I think a song with them would be fire okay so that's my opinion you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and let's get into this other question that he was asked during ask ddg so another fan asked are you happy with your dating life ddg said yes very peaceful listen if you guys remember prior to this relationship ddg was in a relationship with ruby rose it was very public they stayed on the shade room teams they stayed on the shade room it just it seemed and appeared to be a very toxic <laughs> relationship so i can understand him saying that this one is more peaceful i can see it being peaceful and listen i think for the most part everyone's rooting for them i don't know too many people who aren't but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and let's keep things moving so let's go ahead and get into this ty taylor atl jacob and callie mess so if you guys have been following the blogs lately they have kind of been timelining ty and atl jacob kind of coming out but not really coming out it kind of started with ty posting you know little subliminals kind of showing us you know who she was with and that she was with the new fella well people kind of put two and two together and was able to figure out that it was atl jacobs well people were also able to figure out that prior to ty he was in a relationship with callie now, subs have been going back and forth between Ty and Callie since Ty started posting those little, you know, those little pictures and not really showing ATL's face, but kind of giving us, you know, just a little glimpse at who she could possibly be with and kind of showing us that, hey, this is my new person. So from there, and this is what I was able to piece together. It appears that Callie kind of started this um after Ty started posting those images and kind of bringing to light that she was in a relationship with him She did take to her Twitter and when I say she I mean Callie took to her Twitter and pretty much said a female having to prove she f with a nigga is the funniest ish to me like girl if you don't let that man post you first and stand the f up so from there Ty and listen, we all know Ty is not going to shy away from any mess. Okay, I do look at Ty as being messy. Okay, she's always in mess, but I can say that it appears that she may not have started this one. I'm going to always say I don't know what happens. We don't know what happens behind the scenes or behind closed doors. But as far as what was brought to the internet, it appears that Callie did bring this to the internet first, kind of shading Ty, and so from there. Ty did respond by he upgraded for show. Okay, so from there, Callie recently dropped her um, dropped her album and one of the songs on there, Miss Lickback. Listen, she's throwing all kind of subs. She's throwing all kind of shade. She's throwing all kind of subs. I'm going to say that she's not just shading Ty, but she's shading ATL Jacobs. So. This particular song, in terms of what she had to say about Ty, she's pretty much calling Ty out. But I would assume using him, she's pretty much schooling or effing him just for a come up. And listen, it sounds to me, and this is just going to be my opinion on the situation. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. It seems to me that she was hurt. It sounds like maybe there was some infidelity in her relationship. And I mean, Callie and ATL Jacobs, there was some infidelity. And you know that when the guy moves on first and you're not quite over it, you're not over that relationship, then there's always going to be a problem with the new chick. Now, I don't know this firsthand, <laughs> but it appears that that's always how it happens. And I think that she may be a little salty and she's coming at Ty sideways. Now, whether or not Ty is using ATL Jacobs for a come up or not, who knows? Listen, Ty is beautiful. There's no denying that she's beautiful. Callie is a pretty girl too. In terms of if he upgraded or not, who knows? Okay, who knows? But as far as appearance-wise, I will say that, in my opinion, Ty is gorgeous. Now, there's a lot more than just physical appearance when it comes to being a good person or a good um, partner. So I will say that. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. And that's going to be all for this video. I'll talk to you guys on the next.